me to prayer for a bit more. Hello everyone, my name is Crystal Asimwe from Holy Cross Family Ministry, Ginger Region. Today, I'm here with one of the clients of our ministry center here in Ginger, who has a story or a testimony about how family prayer has impacted her life and her family at night. Hello and welcome. Thank you. Tell us your name and where you come from. My name is Aliza Lydia. I'm born of Pamuli and I'm working in Namutumba, St. Francis de Sales, Kalamila Primary School. Aliza Lydia, when yes. did you first hear about Holy Cross Family Ministries? It was 2013. Okay, yes. where was that? They, they used to come to India PTC one year and where I was studying from. Mm, yes. Okay, so you told me that you have a testimony. I've heard it before, but I want the rest of the world to hear this testimony to encourage families to pray together. Yes, first when I was at India PTC one year and because as I told you, Holy Cross Family Ministries used to come and give us a list. We used to pray with them. They bring for us rosaries, mm. the prayer cards. Mm. Yes. Mm. By that time, we, we, the curriculum that was to be followed it was a new curriculum. It started in 2013. Mm. Yes, and we were supposed to offer 13 subjects including Swahili, which I was hearing of for the first time. Mm. Because all my primary, all through the secondary, I did not, we did not study it. Mm. So when I was there, it was new to me. If the tutor could speak, anyway, most of the times I could not understand. Mm. And there is same like teachers. Mm. Maybe someone is coming to review the previous work. Mm. and they could make us all stand. Mm. So, as she could ask questions, the rest could answer and I could be <laughs> the one standing. Mm. Okay. And so what did you do to, to make yourself better at asking Swahili as a subject? Yes, right. and my attitude was poor, even with some other people. Mm. So even when she could come, mm. already we were like, we were bothered. Eh? Mm. My time came as I was always praying, we, we could have our rosary reciting every evening mm. at around 7. Mm. And even we could say the perfect patron prayer. Okay. So one time, as I was sleeping, it was like just a voice telling me, Do you think when you, you have that attitude, you are going to progress? Do you think you will attain what brought you here? So I started. I started, okay. When she could ask questions, now I could give responses, even if they were wrong. And people could laugh at me mm. because they know they knew I knew nothing. Mm. But I could not give up. I could pray, then I could say, God, if we really are here saying that I am here for a mission, why don't I need to work hard? So I got that courage. Now I started listening. I could now start seeing if she could teach, I could start picking, picking slowly by slowly. Then I started even getting that courage. I could go to her. Now it's I've not understood the answer. So she could, she could help me slowly by slowly. I used to get zero people. I remember there is an examination we were given and I got zero five percent. Zero five percent. Okay. And that person was fifty. So Lydia. Besides changing your attitude towards this subject eh? mm. and then consulting the teacher like you have told us, what else did you do? I used to pray mm. and even I told my mother, my mommy, you see this is why I'm going to pay the course. Mm. And my mother also is praying with my sisters. Mm. They could pray, even us here, we were in a group, we had our Catholic group, we yes. could recite the rosary, but every day. My intention is where God will give me wisdom. Mm. At least I should not 
I should not I should not ashamed you. If if I hurt my parents by failing, it means I've hurt you. Mm. So I could pray. I could always tell mommy, let us pray. You pray for me. Even me, I was praying mm. as I could work hard. I could just see God's spirit just helping me reform, reform slowly by slowly. Mm. Praying. Mm. Yes. Okay. And then do you know what I'm Uh-huh. As uh, the first year was in, mm. I got have the paper here. Okay. I, you see, I'm excited. Yeah. This one, here, you see, mm -hmm. I got six in year one. Wow. From the zeros I used to get. From being a total failure in Kiswahili language at the start of her first academic year in college, she surprisingly emerged the best in her class with a distinction one at the end of her second year. Mm -hmm. And I could pray, as I could pray, time came. I could even, I was not selfish by the way. When I got some ideas, I could also use to help others. Eh? Mm. And in the end, away I got D1, year two, D1. This was not because of her might, but due to the fact that she, together with her family and friends, prayed to God for excellency in this particular subject. Not only has Aliza seen God's hand in her academics, but also in the life of her sister and nephew when they were poisoned. Last year, around February, March, my sister was poisoned. Someone came and put poison in the water. And she took the sun, the sun, they realized that they're using that water. So that poison really affected them. They suffered for some good time. They were treated, they were not getting fine. But my sister also was not all that so much prayerful. So we used to encourage her with mommy, but she was weak. So as we could pray for her, we could pray for her. We saw her gaining. Now we started going to the parish, she could call. Like for adoration on Thursday, yes, they are in Namwego. Yes, so she started praying. We used to pray, and she adjusted. But I told her, my sister, even if you are to die, it is the only way we can reach heaven. But also, most of the things I could give her courage and say, we, we are praying, but we, we also believe God is there for us. Yes, so I thank God one time. I just phoned someone and directed me to a certain doctor. Mm. Because I could pray, my, my, I could pray and say, God, well, is it true that we can use these people just like this? I know, I want them to be to testify. I know my sister has been weak, but I want her now to be a living testimony and she starts moving even to, to give courage to others. Mm. So even my father goes to go. Sincerely, they are the and she was not improving. So when she started also going for adoration, we prayed and prayed. So a certain, they sent me to a certain doctor who is in Dubai. Remember right? And I got the medicine and I took to her. She started using. But you see, there is no light to that time. Because you know, Satan also does not want us to to serve God. The time I went, it was around June. During that time of the industrial action, last year, yes, I went, I took her the medicine. We, I went with my two children, Mary Delvin and Mary Martinet. So as we were there, the children fell sick. They started having diarrhea, severe diarrhea with blood stains. They, they took them to the hospital, they were treating them, but they were not improving. We came back, the situation worsened. Now, the day, okay, their father is so sad. He missed it, school for like three days, but as we were taking the children to the hospital, we met his head teacher, and he gave a form, just informal communication, he was not ready. Well, I'm not coming to attend for duty because I, you see our children mm -hmm. are sick. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So, and you allow me to be off duty. Mm -hmm. 
The demon said it is okay. Mm. But after they turned against him, mm. and they they thought there are certain story about him and alleged him, and he was it was a capital offense. He was in prison. He was in prison. They took him to prison in September. Would you like to share which capital offense it is or it's they, they say that he defied a certain child. So that allegation being a teacher. But after all, after the investigation is being carried out, it was found out that it was not true. But he served. Yes. Yes. He was there on the land since September 16th of last year, yes. And he was there and it was life full of That time the children again he became very sick every time. Himself also because he is automatic. Every time. Every time they could call you, oh, this person is bad, you have come. Please bring for him medicine. I had to become his parent. So, and you see that time, everybody. Now you see me, you see me, these offenses, even if it is not true, you have lost so much. What way? I faced it, a lot of that, but I thank God. You see, these situations help us to know that whatever we read in the Bible was there. Because now, I was now just relating those stories to Job. I tell you, I got very many, even some people are Christians, even the ones who could. Now, you see, we are Christians, but even God is the one who created these trees. And God created us with the two legs. Mm. Mm -hmm. Such that if you step here, mm -hmm. here's another leg to step here. Mm. <laughs> Convincing. Yes. But I thank God, because I could always pray and I say, God. This should not be the way I should do things. I know you are still there for me. You have stood with me for in very many things. Oh, there is also time I came here and picked rosaries. Mm -hmm. I, I said, no, let me leave you also the prisoners. So even himself now gained that time. Mm -hmm. I prayed out first, he could be sick every time. But he gained. I'm thankful to God. There is a sister I read. The one who gives the service there in that prison mm. used to give courage to them. And the time came, he was given he was given a responsibility. He was the one mobilizing the Catholics. <laughs> Amidst the different challenges that Aliza and her family faced, they did not listen to the advice of people encouraging them to try witchcraft, but instead faithfully prayed to God, especially for her husband, who had been imprisoned for allegedly committing aggravated defilement. Last, last week, it was on Monday. Mm. Someone gave me a call at around 5.30. Yes. Have you heard of this information? They ask you which information. Mm. So, your husband, has been released from prison. By the way, I was surprised because mm. when he came, he came back on Monday and on Tuesday we were, we were in church. But he, that Monday mm. in the night, mm. he was the one leading us in the Rosary oh. Society. Glory to God. <laughs> <laughs> the prayer of divine mercy, all. Mm. I was just wondering <laughs> is this the person? Seriously reciting and he was saying, You see, this rosary is so powerful. And he was thanking me because I'm the one who took them the rosary is in the prison. Yes. On the 8th of December, Aliza, who had planned to baptize her daughter on the Feast of Immaculate Conception, was unable to because she was very sick and admitted in hospital. Also in December, I remember what I remember the 8th of December. I had planned to get Mary much late for baptism. Mm. It was her birthday, she was born on the day of Immaculate Conception. Mm. Yes. But that day reached when I was in 
family mission hospital in a very terrible condition, that point. And everybody had lost it all. Anyway, I could see people, and I could see people's eyes. Yes. Because, uh, okay, I could understand, but <laughs> not fully. Every day, the situation was just worse. I actually, when I'm fine, I used to wear um, 90 and above, 90, 92, 94, like that. But yes, but when he, that time, I went up to even 15. In the 50s, it grew very thin. And when I was in the hospital, people came to my father. You see, this, this must be witchcraft. Let us take this, this, this one to the witchcraft. You see, God is the one still. Those stories of God is the one who created us. Mm. And he's the one who created even the trees. Please let us take Mandy as I was in the hospital. Very many people gave him that whatever advice. Even my even they used even to tell my sisters, my mother, many others who could laugh. Ah, these ones are very stupid. Even if you tell them, but they are just there praying, praying. Mm. God also helps those who help themselves. <laughs> As if when they were praying, they were not helping themselves. Mm. Then that he, okay, one of not mention the name, mm. or the relatives to my mother was like saying, My mother is stupid. Why don't you first take her? The wish doctor. And my mother asked, her, See, I'm the very person who took her for baptism. Mm. And I said that <laughs> I believe in God. Mm. How about now if she, after my daughter says, says she, She's trying the goddess ministry. Mm. And even us, sometimes you see she brings for us here rosaries. And she says even where she is, she's doing she the same. Yes. Mm. Well, what if today she dies from the shrine? Mm. Will that work? Isn't it like washing your clothes, the white cloth very well? Then after washing, you remove all the uh, the dirt and then you, you go to place it in the the man that you are drying it. Yes. She said that my mother said, okay, if it is to die, let her die. Such that she can reach the body's kingdom. Other than now taking her to the shrines and she dies from there, where she will she go? They, they just pray. Even by the way, they are those priests from that side, they used to come and pray for me. And that time is when I also understood that when we do for we do the service of God, as we may think that we are not paid, there is a way. <laughs> it is more than even a payment. You may not get at that time. And one, I want to tell you that time when I was in the hospital, I don't think I made any contribution to my bills, the medical bills, like taking because they could take scan, X-ray, what examining the whole body, the treatment. It was not me, and it was not even my parents. People could bring money, and I could just wonder. And in January, as I went for medical review, the doctor was telling me, now, yeah, is it okay? You have some energy, you go and pick ones. We feel, we feel for you, and I take for you to your workplace. I ask you what for. Okay, for, you need to have a sick leave. Then I said, no, I will not have a sick leave. Because when I have a sick leave, I'm going to sit home. But I want to help my children. I have a group of children to take care of. I, and I, like I told you, I take care of children. I want to them and make a day in the And then I also said, if God has granted me this healing, at least I'm not 100%, but by that time, at least I was 60%. I said no, you just go and I teach those children. I know slowly by slowly, you will be fine. And as if I don't, if I've not forgotten, I don't think I missed even for a week in the time one came. I was there for the children. God has really changed my life. As you see now, like the other week, I went to the hospital. And Indeed, glory to God for all the motherless things that he has done in Eliza's life and in her family. It is true, 
a family that prays together, stays together. And family prayer for the better world.